everyone and welcome. Today I'm going to be comparing two banjos. I'm going to start with this $200 parts banjo that I put together the other day and I'm going to compare that with my vintage Clifford Essex Paragon banjo which is worth about $10,000. So we're looking at two completely opposite ends of the spectrum here. Um, so let's get into it. Let's have a play on this one and then we'll have a play on the Paragon and we'll talk about the differences between them. Let's have a go on the Paragon. Same tune. So, quite a difference between both banjos there. The thing I notice when I pick up the Paragon is I've got a lot more control over the dynamics of the instrument. It gets a lot louder when I need it to, but I can also hold back a little bit as well if I want to get a bit of a sweeter tone off it, a bit of a quieter tone. Um, for me, the playing is a whole other world. Um, the Paragon just falls, the notes fall under your fingers really really easily. Both banjos are set up quite well, the action is nice and low on both of them, they're intonated fairly well. But with the Paragon I find that the notes just ring out nice and clear and I don't have to work as hard to get a good sound out of the banjo. Um, this one has a, a resonator as well so that's helping to give me that bit of a, a louder banjo there as well but overall it's just a lot easier to play I think there's a lot more variation in the tone as well a lot more complexity to the tone this one has an arch top tone ring which is very common for Irish traditional music many of the banjos that we see commonly used in this style have an arch top tone ring and that gives us that brighter tone as well okay uh, which is something that we associate with Irish traditional music a lot and the banjo in Irish music as well Let's have a look at this parts banjo. So the neck is an Essex neck, not to be confused with Clifford Essex, who make the Paragon. Um, it is the neck of my first tenor banjo that I got many, many years ago when I started learning. And the body, the rim here is from an old five string banjo, well, not old, not vintage, but one that I had lying around the house that had a broken flange. So I took the flange off, I put some shoes on here, for the tension hooks to go through and put it back together and mated up the tenor neck with this rim. There's a few things I'd change if I was doing it again, a few measurements that I'd, I kind of like to make a little bit more precise, but overall it came together okay. I'm running it open back as well. This does have a tone ring, it's got a flat top tone ring. Now many beginner banjos or cheaper banjos don't have a tone ring. Many of them are what we call bottle cup banjos, so they use uh, a metal rim as a tone ring, rim and flange all in one. So this one doesn't do that, okay? It's got a wooden rim and it does have a flat top tone ring. That does give it a good bit of sustain and a bit more complexity to the tone than we would see in a lot of sort of beginner level instruments. You'll notice it's also got guitar tuners here. I blow hot and cold on how I feel about this. Many banjos, most banjos, do not have guitar style tuners. Guitar style tuners make the banjo a lot easier to tune. You can move the keys a lot more, the tuning pegs a lot more, 
um, as you're tuning up the banjo. Whereas your normal banjo tuners, or planetary tuners as we call them, they move the notes with very, very small movements of the actual tuner. So you've got to be a lot more precise when you're tuning the banjo. So these guitar style tuners are probably a little bit easier for beginners. It's probably not a bad thing that a lot of entry level banjos are using guitar style tuners. Um, other than that, the neck feel is it, like it plays okay. It's certainly not got the precision that I'm getting off the Paragon. But overall, I'd be really happy for a student of mine to be learning on a banjo like this. And they can actually be made to sound good uh, with some good setup, tightening up the head, making sure the bridge is positioned okay. Um, yeah, so that's the difference between both ends of the spectrum. Beginner level $200 banjo, right up to a professional level vintage Clifford Essex Paragon, which is kind of the be all and end all for Irish traditional music on the banjo. Let us know what you think in the comments. Which one did you prefer? And don't forget to like and subscribe to Born for Banjo for plenty more Irish tenor banjo content coming up soon. Have a great day.